Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. All right, we got a bunch of other things to talk about here today as well. Shane McMahon and Tony Khan had a meeting. We know this is true because a photograph surfaced. Magically appeared. Yeah, it's quite the uh, that quite the deal. I mean, I I I mean, my my this is this is my gut on this. Okay, I mean, it's two guys, and they obviously both wanted it out there. Why would they want it out there? Well, in the case of Tony Khan, I think he wanted something to intrigue people, and and look. Every wrestling show has gotten destroyed by the Olympics and the ratings, which we knew going in was going to happen. And Dynamite should be no different. So he was looking for something that would get people talking and maybe maybe Shane McMahon's going to be on Dynamite tonight. And hopefully that that would make a difference and, and they would, you know, they would do better in the ratings than they would have done otherwise. That was, I'm sure, his idea, among other things. With Shane, man, you just don't know. You don't know. Is is he I mean, I know I know Shane McMahon has looked to get back in WWE. I know that the people in charge of WWE have no interest in him. Uh could that change with the idea that he would be willing to go to AEW? Maybe. Maybe not. Um would he really be willing to go to AEW? I don't know where his mind is. Um should AEW take him, which is probably the big question. And I think that that just depends on what role you're talking about. Um, you know, I mean, there's there's booking ways that you could go with it that uh, could be intriguing. Um, they also, you know, at all, at, I, you know, does he want to go just as a TV character? Does he want um, influence? Does he want power? Does he want points? I mean, those would be a no-go. Um, big major, major no-go. Um, I would think. I mean, I would if I was Tony Khan, there's no way. But as far as just a character, but then what kind of money would he want? I mean, Shane got a lot, a lot of money for, for, you know, if you compare the amount of money Shane got for the amount of work that he did when he was an active few times a year pro wrestler, it was a really high number. And he's not worth that number to AEW as an active wrestler. Um, but if he can move numbers, um, I mean, I, I mean, look, I think, I think if he did a, his first TV appearance, I think, you know, when it was advertised, you know, would he move numbers? I think for once, but you know, we've seen whether it's Mercedes, whether it's Adam Copeland, um, you know, a lot of these guys, um, came in and I mean, they didn't even move numbers big on, on their first try and let alone in the long term. So I don't know what it really means. Um, like, I, I think the intrigue for one week might be big, but long term, um, who knows? Um, you know, it, but if you have the right look, if it's the right storyline and it's a storyline that's viable and you can make the storyline work. Yeah, he, there's 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 a chance he could be valuable. But, um, you know, will he do it? I don't know. You know, I mean, they Shane told Bully Ray gave a little. You know, he says, uh, Tony and I were connected through a mutual friend and we had a great meeting. We talked about many things, but mostly about our shared love for the business and the rewards and challenges of working with family. I congratulated him on the five year anniversary of AW and look forward to see how he evolves the business moving forward. Yeah. That's so, a nice statement. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is he looking? I mean, look, like I said, is it a leverage play for him to try to get back in WWE? Wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, but I know from people in WWE, yeah, like I said, he's he's tried to get back, and they don't have interest. There's a lot of a lot of negativity uh, that I would say has been there for a long time. And I mean, like his coming back, you know, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't like you know when he was gone, it wasn't like they were begging him to come back. It was kind of there was. You know, Linda pushed very, very hard for a long time for him to come back. And they took him back because there were some injuries, WrestleMania, and they knew that him and Undertaker was going to do business. So it was the right thing. And then they used him in that GM role. And then, you know, they would use him in matches every now and then. Um, you know, from a... But, you know, if you remember when he came back, I mean, he had no role in the company other than very highly paid talent. But it wasn't like he... Um, 
He had no executive position, nothing like that. I believe he sold all of his stock, so it's not like he was even a stockholder. He had a lot of stock, too. So I guess that funded some of his business operations that he did outside. Um, He was not successful in other businesses. Um, After leaving WWE, you know, that that famous business in uh, China trying to get, uh, what was it, VOD of movies and and, and sports events and pay-per-views into China, um, that was a big, that was a giant loser. Um, so, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's an intriguing story. I mean, cause it could go a lot of ways, but unless, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to make any, uh, thing on like, is this good or bad? Unless I know what the role is and I know what they're talking about. Um, you know, so it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, but, uh, you know, they, they have their. They have their reasons, both of them, for for wanting this out. Julie announced she has five matches remaining in Japan. Her final match will be August 19th, Corican Hall. And after that, she's uh, heading to WWE. Yep. My Sakurai will be her last opponent. Uh, It'll be up live on Wrestle Universe um, and uh, with English commentary. And uh, it'll be her farewell. Um my impression is is that they will allow her to go back for big shows like like Io Sky did on the last Sumo Hall show. They're probably looking uh, Marigold is looking at at the idea of four big shows a year. So I think that maybe you know they would bring you know that WWE would allow her to go back for you know one two three four shows a year some some number like that you know even now because I think that. That's part of kind of like this, this, the, their working together relationship thing. Um, but, uh, you know, she's got big, big plans. Um, you know, I mean, it was something when she went to, uh, and saw, you know, like, uh, WWE, you know, you know what I mean? You, you, you see WWE at one of these stadium shows and, you know, she's, she's a star, but, you know, she's working for a couple hundred people and maybe a couple thousand on a big show. Their, their big show did, uh, with Io Sky, a couple weeks ago at Sumo Hall, did, did 3,000 people. But that's a far cry from, you know, SummerSlam. SummerSlam's over 50,000 tickets. So, you know, that the, um, it, you know, you can see the whole thing. And, um, you know, they're, they're, you know, she's going to have to learn a different style, obviously. And she's got a cool look, um, a lot of charisma. At first, I think that people will, you know, in NXT, they're going to take her, the fan base will take her as this giant superstar at first. But ultimately, she's going to have to um, tone down her style to do WWE style. And sometimes, you know, sometimes you can kind of pull it off. And and her, the thing with her is she was really, really, really hard hitting. And WWE doesn't really want that really hard hitting style, especially from women. But if you take that away, um, you know, how, how will she be? And I don't know. Um, obviously, in WWE, promos are so important. So English language is important. And she's learning English, and she knows some English. But, um, you know, I, it's, uh, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a major international star signing. And, yeah, she's leaving August 19th. She should be... Um, on NXT TV or, or you know, at, I mean, she'll be full-time in Orlando. She'll be moving to Orlando. She'll be on NXT TV pretty, pretty darn soon. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.